In this video, we're going to learn how to concatenate data frames in Pandas. Now, concatenating a data frame just means pasting two different data frames together, either by rows or by columns. So we're going to start by loading in a data set to work with here. And now we're going to add a second data frame in called new rows. These are going to be data points that have the same columns as our existing data frame, but they have some extra records that want to be extra rows in our existing data frame. So to add these three new records to our original data frame as new rows, we can use data frame concatenation to do that. To do that in pandas, you can use the pd.concat function. So we'll show how to do that here. We're gonna say pd.concat, that means concatenate. Then you pass in a list of the different objects you wanna to concatenate together. In this case, we called our original data frame data and our new one, new rows. So we're gonna pass those two things in as a list. The next argument here is axis. That specifies if you want to paste them by rows or by columns. Since these are new rows or records, we wanna set axis to zero. And we're also just going to say ignore index equals true so that the resulting concatenated data frame has a new index from zero to however many rows it has. So let's run this and we can see that our original data frame that had about five records is there, but the new data frame has been pasted on the bottom. So it's one concatenated data frame. And now I'll give an example of how we would do a concatenation along columns. So we're going to create another new data frame called new columns. We'll run this and now we have some data, but these are now columns we want to add. So we don't want to paste these along rows. We want to add these essentially to the right hand side of the existing columns we have here. We want to add two new columns on this side. So to do that, we can also use the dot concat function. We just have to change that axis argument to be for the columns. So this will add these two new columns of data to our existing data frame. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found the video useful, you can drop a like or hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.